Hi there everybody, on today's video I have this Audi A3 2015, this is a 2 litre TDI and I'm going to be changing the oil and the oil filter and I'm just going to start by opening pulling the dipstick here and just opening the oil filler cap there I'm gonna leave those open uh, to drain the oil so we can get some uh, air into the system so the uh, oil drains a little bit faster um, so I'm gonna get the car up um, and then we're gonna tackle the oil and the filter so just looking at the car from underneath we need to remove that cover it's held in by uh, T25 screws and uh, three T45 screws. The T45s go in here. One, two, and three. And the others just go in, in here, which I already removed. It's about eight of them. There's one in the middle there. So just go ahead and remove those. You can take that cover up. Okay, so with that cover out of the way, we have access to the oil filter, which is just um, hiding up there. You can just see the tip of it behind that cable, and I have to move this cable a little bit. And then the 19 mil sun plug bolts there. So that's a 19 mil. Get yourself uh, an oil pan to catch the oil. Just remember, if the engine's been running, that can be oil can be hot, so don't burn yourself. You can always wait for it to cool down a bit. While that drains, we can tackle the filter and you're going to need a 32mm socket Let's try to see where this uh, filter is Okay, so you can just see the side of the filter housing there I'm gonna get my socket in there. Just make sure you get your oil pan under the area because we're probably going to get some oil coming down from there So there is some oil dripping already.
So that's the filter and the cover there. Um, if you remove it this way, obviously the oil comes out and kind of makes a little bit of a mess. But I think um, you can also open this filter from here and let the oil drip on a sort of come out of the let the oil drain from the housing basically if you open that little nut there Okay, so this has uh, been uh, dripping for a while now. Um, now we can um, basically prepare our filter. And uh, this is the filter I have from Volkswagen. The part number is 03N115562B. b Okay, let's just prepare the... Uh, filter here just gonna remove this uh, o-ring here and just uh, fit fit the new one There, and just make sure it goes in the correct groove. Um, you also get this little o-ring here and uh, if you were to open this here then um, there'll be an o-ring there and then you can change it. Um, so I, I didn't open it obviously so so I'm not gonna be changing that today that is a 13 mil socket so you undo that basically that 13 mil socket this will come out little cup and then the oil should drain out from there okay so I've got my new filter there just plug it in place And I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, multi-purpose grease around the O-ring. And now basically ready to refit this filter. Okay, so I always uh, like to screw this on by hand a little bit, as much as I can, um, just to make sure it's going in the correct way. I can then use the wrench. Usually on the cap it says 24 or 25 newton meters, and that is not a lot of force. So um, make sure you don't over tighten it. Uh, as you can see, when I felt this was already closed, I only turned it a little bit, another, I don't know, two centimeters or so on the wrench, um, and that's about it or maybe even a centimeter, just apply a little bit of force to close it.
Okay, and we can also fit our some black bolt. So I'm using a new copper washer as well. If you uh, inspect your old copper washer, um, if it's not damaged, you can always reuse it for another year. But obviously they they get squashed and sometimes they get a little bit damaged. So. And that's it. Again, no need to over tighten that. So I just uh, usually like to clean the area a little bit with this uh, braking clutch uh, fluid, cleaning fluid, um, which is quite safe on rubber and everything else. Um, so if you find there's any oil around that you want to clean, then can spray it around with this. Okay, now um, now we can just go ahead and refit our uh, under tray. Okay, just uh, now we need to lower the car and uh, top up some oil. Okay, so the manual says this takes uh, 5 litres um, and they recommend 5W30. And we're pretty much done. Um, you can double check your dipstick to make sure you're uh, within the right level. So the dipstick here we have two lines so the, the one here is the minimum and the one up here will be the maximum and we're aiming to be at the max. We added five liters so it might be a little bit over the max and that's because after you run the engine some of that oil will go into the oil filter housing and then this will drop to the correct level okay so oops so yes this is just above the max it's up to here which is uh, what I'm looking for and now you can just run your engine and um, you can double check the dipstick if you wish but um, this is pretty much it so um, I hope this video helps and uh, thank you for watching